Hey everyone, my name is Kumo and this is my reaction to the second episode of the second season of Sora no Otoshimono or Heaven's Lost Property. So, in the last episode of this amazing anime, the theme was pretty much dreams because it's been a thing in the entire show really. Well, since the beginning of the show, rather, that Tomoki has its, has the had blah, 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 has had this dream. I drank some coffee this morning that may have had some effect on me, but anyway, Tomoki's been having these dreams where an angel speaks to him, telling him all sorts of things, like basically that she wants him to save a couple, you know, the two angeloids that he has saved, and he she wants him to save her as well, and that will probably happen at some point. But in this episode, we had her essentially give a warning about an angeloid that's going to be targeting Tomoki, which showed about the end of the episode, who I believe is Astrea, a Delta-type angeloid, and that should be a lot of fun, you know, not so much for Tomoki, since she seems to be like she's going to be attacking him, but anyway, back to dreaming. Uh, they, uh, everyone, the other people, they decided to do the dive game and jump into people's dreams. They only decided to, they only planned to jump into Tomoki's dream, but because it did not work properly, they ended up jumping into everybody else's dream. And they may or may not have even entered his dream at the end there because it was very strange. He didn't seem to remember the dream at all. It definitely wasn't what we saw before. And he had Suka to take things from the dream, which isn't supposed to be possible in the dreams, which is also really weird. And we got some backstory on Sukata's meeting with Tomoki and all of that, which is when the Astria person crashed down near Sukata. So that was fun. And yeah, let's just get into the next episode. Let us begin in three, two, one, play. It's like a foot away from your hand, buddy. Oh. It's a little bit too late to be engaged in such activities, Tomoki. Oh, wow. That was a nice way to get up. I really do. I'm starting to really like Nymph. <laughs> oh, yeah. How could I forget the morning wood incident from last episode? I'm sure Tomoki didn't. I almost used that shot of Nymph looking at his morning wood all questioningly as my thumbnail, but... In the end, I went with something different. <laughs> Is she? I know you're becoming aware of it. <laughs> the struggle is real. I think we've all been here. Okay, the real opening this time. I mean, the last episode, the last opening was amusing, don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't want that to be every episode. And man, I cannot believe that that coffee, like, really kicked in right before I started filming. But I kind of could use some coffee, because Mondays are the days I do these. Well, some of these. And Mondays are days where I have to wake up early to go grocery shopping. <laughs> wow, they just I'm really going for that indirect indirect kiss there. <laughs> I like her chest shakes as she shakes them. What were you doing in there? What what is this character? And that is adorable. I love that outfit. Anyway, Astrea, I'm, I was kind of curious what her personality would be like, and it seems a bit maybe ditzy and airheady. <laughs> like a very brief glimpse of Suga to fly in there. It looks like you might begin the return of female Tomoki. If I think that's what that one chick was. Tomoko. Yeah, as if it wasn't obvious enough that Astrea is going to join the group at some point. <laughs> Surprise, the angel's a huge breasted idiot. So, yes, I got to grasp that much from the opening. To fight bears like a real man. <laughs> wow, I was half joking. He really was. Oh yeah, Sukata. This is the first chance he's gotten to tell them about it. <laughs> is it really? Why would you want to get away from those wonderful waifus? <laughs> oh yeah, I'll focus on that, alright. It's a little bit early to call a thumbnail, but that was nice. <laughs> like, I probably I want to use Astrea as a thumbnail, but so it just depends if there's a good shot of her or not. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Good luck on that one, Tomoki. And she's on the prowl. And he's away from the only people that can protect him. Isn't everybody in one way or another? <laughs> yeah, if she wanted to kill him, you would not get there in time. Yeah. D for Delta. I'm pretty sure that was something they were going for there. I'm here to sign up for your harem. Or that. <laughs> Either one's fine. <laughs> I can see she's a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> uh. You don't seem all that concerned. Though I guess I can understand why. <laughs> yeah, she seems to have a bit of a reputation. <laughs> Probably a well-learned one. Tomiki, you're on the wrong side to get the good view there. Luckily, we're on the right side. But she's a klutz. Among other things. Oh, you come up, come equipped, come equipped with enough functionality. Yeah, compared to Icarus. <laughs> In other words, she's an idiot. <laughs> yes, basically. I'm actually starting to feel a little bit bad for her already. Man, that blood knows how to drip. Usually it's Tomoki that gets the nosebleeds when a girl shows up. <laughs> what did you even come here for again? Because I did not think it was a train with Tomoki. Or to get all wet. But Tomoki does have that effect on the ladies. <laughs> yeah, well. You, I don't... <laughs> Look, you could kill him at any moment. Just, <laughs> you don't need a come up with these weird schemes. <laughs> and good god. <laughs> so much for that fight in your earthly desire thing. <laughs> you don't have to call him. He's ready to come whenever it... I... I'm gonna stop that sentence there. <laughs> Man, cleaning has never been so much fun. <laughs> and if this lasts much longer, there'll have to be a bit of an additional cleaning going on. <laughs> How many minutes of screen time has this girl had in most of its... <laughs> We've had a view of her panties. <laughs> I bet he's having a lot more fun doing that to her than he does him. I can see why they did the bottle thing in the opening now. <laughs> because this is apparently a common thing with her. Even I'm starting to have a similar issue as Tomoki here. <laughs> and she's trying her best to blow. The jokes just write themselves for this show, don't they? Yes, he's fine. <laughs> That's the question. What kind of training is this? One thing I did forget to mention in the little recap thing is Mitsuki's dream. <laughs> that segment was amazing. And half the fun of it was just Mitsuki's reactions. <laughs> I think Astrea has a bigger issue here. 
using the term issue loosely. Reminds me of a certain scene in prison school. Of course, this came way before that did. <laughs> oh, at least it's not Mitsuki. Has she not met Tomoki before? She sounds surprised. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, hey, you need your shots. It's... What was I saying again? <laughs> I think you're the one letting your imagination go wild. And I do quite like her outfit that she's currently wearing. Her ass is just like eating the outfit. Hey, trust She's perfectly grown. <laughs> but he's been around Astrea, so... Hey, she's giving you permission. <laughs> Man, what a difference. <laughs> okay, let's go 50 years. <laughs> uh, in other words, you're going to stay perfect forever. Oh wow. Let's let's go back. It's like that one that one meme where you push the upgrade button and you're like, no, go back, go back. <laughs> he literally did nothing wrong in this scene. Well, I guess he did kind of insult her body. You just understand that perfectly flat chest. It's not even that flat really. <laughs> well, back to business. I see he has some strong willpower. It's like, every time I go to read these things, one of my hair members pops up. Can I borrow that when you're done? It depends if Mitsuki's around or not. Oh, I bet you will. Oh, she's gonna... She's gonna destroy the magazines. <laughs> Sometimes having a humanoid weapon as a waifu has its disadvantages. Tell me, you're supposed to dive on it with your body to protect it. You have plot armor, it'd be fine. But I guess he doesn't have to worry any longer about the struggle to bury them. <laughs> Mitsu's kind of missing out on all the action. <laughs> well, he just burned his treasure. I mean, it was partially his fault. Yeah, Sugata and Mikako. They look like ants from way up there. Indeed. So his theory was correct. A very good question. Hmm. 
I am starting to think there might be more to Tomoki's backstory than meets the eye. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? <laughs> you came here to kill him, and so far all you've done is train, fall down, and... Be silly. <laughs> Apparently they weren't all destroyed. <laughs> this should be good. <laughs> Arrow Treya, <laughs> like uh, Astra Astrea. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so she transforms into a <laughs> a lewd magazine. When a real woman would be preferable to a magazine. So it's kind of like a downgrade in that regard. Very weird strategy. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're getting there, I guess. When did magazines start including these? I mean, I'm not really that into big boobs, but that was a nice shot there. Ooh. Man, she... I may have underestimated this magazine's potential. <laughs> yeah, any more than that, I mean, we had to get some censorship up in here. <laughs> Give me a sword if you have to. A chainsaw works fine. Oh, now Mitsuki shows up. Which is more of a danger to him than Estrella is. <laughs> Man, if there's anything you don't want to be cut right now, I'd protect it. <laughs> Let us not forget she came here to kill him. You could just fire a laser beam or something at him. Why are you doing this? <laughs> well, if you put it that way. <laughs> I feel like he's... Gee, I feel like he's done more damage to her than he, she's done to him. That's a good argument as well. As long as they're warm. <laughs> that too. <laughs> At least he's finally got it. He's finally reached enlightenment. <laughs> I've never heard of that before, but... <laughs> At least he's gotten some results from this training. <laughs> oh, I would not call that hell. I would call that very much the opposite. I guess she might have a different opinion on the subject, but... Oh. I love this anime. Oh, there's no way out. Unless you count that, but you should never go towards the light. <laughs> He's waiting. But yeah, I guess from her perspective, you could call this hell. 
<laughs> Man, the fear in her eyes. What have I gotten myself into? It's a mushroom. Here's mushroom. <laughs> I've had enough of this man. I'm going home. So surprisingly enough, Tomoki did not need anyone else's help to drive off <clears throat> to drive off Australia. Or Aero Trail. I bet you are. <laughs> Man, that watermelon's still alive. Or maybe she's just getting new watermelons all the time, I don't know. It was fine, the straight I became one and everything worked out. But yeah, I mentioned wanting to have a straight I'd be my thumbnail, and out of all those shots, I think I can probably find a good one. Yeah, what is that sound? <laughs> what? What? I don't... What? Is that 3D CG animation? <laughs> it's a little bit hard to tell, but... <laughs> I don't know who did it, but... Was it Icarus? <laughs> A festival. She just had that in her towel. And of course, we're going to get an end with uh, the dancing magazines. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Those girls, what were they eating? I don't know, but this is one of the best festivals I've ever seen. Best house of cards as well. Uh, the, even the floats. No, no expense was spared on this. Uh. <laughs> Dancing. Uh. Man, that is a top tier outfit. I like the fireworks that just kind of blended in, blended in with it. Uh. Hey, Sugata, you finally got an Angeloid for yourself. Yeah, your mission could use some reaffirming. I assume she's referring to Tamoki. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't a dream, it seems like. They actually infiltrated it. So that was pretty much the reason why Astray was sent. Because of the infiltration. Well, that part we already knew, but yeah, we got a lot of 
additional information there. <laughs> Did I say too much? Oh, we're going to have a long talk. Just you and me. So that was the second episode of Heaven's Lost Property Forte. And what an episode it was. As I thought, the episode was mostly focused on Astrea. She crash landed in the, to the ground at the end of the last episode. So naturally she was going to spend this episode going after Tomoki. And obviously her goal was to kill him, which I also suspected. What I, what I did not quite suspect is for her to be so incompetent. Like, she shows up there, she pretty much immediately falls. She spends a lot of her early screen time just showing us her panties, which I'm not going to complain about. But her mission seemed to go out the window pretty quickly. Like, I mean, I guess she was technically always trying for it, but I just... Her strategies are so weird, like... If you wanted to kill him, you just blast him with a energy attack, punch him, throw a rock at him, I don't know. She just had all these silly little schemes that just did not work well because she's so incompetent, klutzy, just ditzy, airheaded, whatever you want to call it, stupid, I think, is just how they phrased it. Because apparently she even has a bit of a reputation because we had Nymph and Icarus who heard, heard about this incident, you know, and they were like, oh, well, that's no big deal. I want to go get some snacks or something? We can swing by later, you know, see how things are going. And it's but yeah, aside from just her, we also had uh, Tomoki, who apparently is trying to deal with his earthly desires for those mythical creatures that have been living with him. I'm not sure what the point really is, but sure, whatever. He goes to the mountain for some training, which Astrea joins him in his training, strangely enough. Like sitting under the waterfall and all that. And just doing a lot of other fun things, like transforming into magazines, which was quite fun. Going into... What I told him we could call it his six dimensions or something like that. That was also a fun scene. And I feel like she's going to be a pretty, pretty fun character in general. Of course, Nymph also had a little bit of screen time. Like she confronted Tomoki when he was burying his treasure and showing off her different forms as the time goes by, which, yes, very big differences there. No, not really. In the end, he was able to drive her off, though, because Tomoki is just a little bit too much for her to handle. And ended up crash landing at Sukata's place, and she talking, like when she was, I don't know, I was going to say she's talking in her sleep, but they don't really sleep or dream, do they? Well, maybe they sleep, they just don't dream, I don't know. But the point is, she was giving away information she probably shouldn't have been giving away to Sukata, who's actually going to remember that stuff, because he has a big interest in this new world, or synapse, whatever it's called. And she was talking about how there was a year ago there was an incident, probably like the incident we saw with the meeting between Sugata and Tomoki, but an incident where there was some kind of connection between a downer, as they call them, and Synapse, which the High Council just kind of let pass. But what they didn't let pass is the very recent incident of them infiltrating the Synapse core and going to the rule, or whatever that's supposed to be. I guess it was a big, the, the big plaque with all the words on it. I assume that's what the rule is referring to. But yeah, apparently they can't let that one slide, so they sent Astrea to kill Tomoki, but that's much easier said than done. Because he has two angeloids to protect him, and he doesn't even need that for this for this one. I don't know if they'll send anyone else later on, but as for this particular angeloid, not much of a threat. But yeah, this was a very fun episode. I really enjoy this anime. It's just, it's great in so many ways. So let me know what you thought of the anime. Wish that I might react in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.